So it put her in a w really weird position where all she had was Trump's bad, Trump's a dictator, Trump's a fascist, Mussolini, Hitler, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And she couldn't be like, she couldn't have a new economic plan that wasn't Bidenomics. She couldn't shift gears and get away from Bidenomics with her own visions because mm -hmm. just having those visions sort of suggests that you're not okay with the status quo as it is, that you don't like the way things are going, that if your voice was the one being listened to, you'd have made option, you'd done option B instead of option A as Biden has been doing. Mm -hmm. And the border stuff is just, everyone cares about the border now because they've seen that like it's millions and millions of people. And it's been such a big story and there is crime. There is like migrant crime. And they're seeing the people come in, come in from all around the world and people don't like it. And they're saying, why can't we have a secure border? Yeah, and I'm stuck on. That's compelling. Oh, and right Trump turns. hung it around her neck like a fucking necklace and she wore it. Like an albatross. Um, yes. Like an albatross. Because he's he's like, she's the border czar. Didn't you know? I don't think she's the border czar. He just said that. And yeah. she never did. And they were like, why don't you ever defend yourself? He says, you're the border czar. You're not, though. She's like, I don't like to talk about what he says. And I'm like, maybe you should on this one. I thought you were Dude, the border it's super czar. Tough. I got it. Now I'm all backed up with things I want to reply to. Uh, if you're defending yourself, you're losing. So I could see why she wanted to talk about her own stuff. But then that, mm. that's rough. Where's Is mass Taylor? deportation going to happen? I hope yes, so. I, I really hope so. It depends what that means, though, because mm -hmm. I think there's different ways to, to look it at means that. means illegals get out. Yeah, but does it mean that we go into communities and we uproot people who have been illegally here for a number of years? Does it mean that we first prioritize yes. potential security threats who are from the Middle East or other um, like red regions? Uh, red, I mean like dangerous regions. Yeah. Um, or we, are we just? Uh, and how do we fund it? How do we fund self, it? And, and how do we hire all these new officers? Like you're going you to need a tremendous. So like you would like what the, that's what they would try to do initially. At least that's what makes the most sense to me. Is number one is you levy something like mandatory prison time on employers that knowingly hire illegals. No, no pleading down, no getting out of it. You will go to jail if you knowingly hire one of these people as a means of undercutting what would be a fair wage for Americans. You do that. Number two, you make remittances, which is illegals taking money they earn here and sending it back. You tax that at 100 percent. A hundred percent. And you also make it so that illegals are not eligible for Medicaid, WIC or housing vouchers. If you create a system like this that doesn't subsidize this behavior, you will see it diminish enormously. And so you don't even like all of that can be done prior to any sort of like going in and getting people. And the problem will largely resolve itself because these are economic migrants. That's not what they're going to do, though. They're going to send in the. They can the, do that. Some sort of yeah, they can. It would be a, they, it would be a combination they, of things. But those would be, if they're I were in. if I were king, those would be the three edicts I laid down. Going after employers is a big deal, right? Right now, you, there's hardly any downside to hiring illegal immigrants, mm -hmm. and they could change that. Yeah. Um, I would suggest uh, rewards for turning in illegals. I would like that. I think that's been very good in Texas for turning in anyone who dares abort a fetus. I think it's great that you got that. You can you can reward them, get that bounty. So I would put a bounty on illegals if someone could whisper that word into Trump's ears. If he thinks tariffs are a beautiful word, bounty, that's the beautiful word. Because we'd all be going to Home Depot like three times a day just scanning. Just keeping an eye out now. Look at this guy. If each uh, one, this guy yeah. looks a little brown. <laughs> Go get him. Yeah, right. If turning one in was like, 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 let's say turning one in was $500 each. Like, if he implemented a the idea, you can make a whole YouTube channel about that. It would, but I, if he implemented exactly the three changes I just said, oh, come on, that's so I have an idea. I want to get out there. Yeah, it's yeah. this: Better. fire away. If you self-deport, you can empty all your bank accounts and go back home. If you get caught. We freeze your bank accounts and send you home penniless. I like that better than sending to jail, like Taylor said, because we pay for that too, right? Just we're going to make some money off this deportation thing. I like, I, I, I like that. Maybe I didn't express it clearly. I don't mean jail the illegals. They are not going to siphon off of our teat anymore. They go back. The hmm. people who would be jailed is someone Employers. who knowingly employs illegals, which is really just a way of like, fucking american middle and working class people up that's what it is they don't maybe want to pay a fair wage to americans and so they can get fucked maybe we get a little work at them before we send them home a workout mm -hmm. no, no no a little work, work out, of out of them oh a little work before, out of them. you know I thought you were like them. all right now burpee your way back across the border <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i just i just figured before we send them home you know we're, we're gonna need to round them up first you know we, go. we don't we don't want to get free work out of them that's work that could be done for a fair wage by an american 
we but they're going to make tank shells for Israel. We we do so much of that already. You're right. I don't. <laughs> I'd say I mean, too much. I'd I think they're going to go round them up. I think it's going to be crazy. Uh, I I I it, I mean that's what he promised. It, oh, maybe, if you're ready for an emotionally manipulative news cycle, wait until like ooh. this starts kicking off. They're going to be doing the oh, look at this crying kid. Burn the Constitution. It's like no, I, I, you've got to, you got to go. You're not here legally, and you're not an American. Should, Fuck off. Should they change the thing where if you're born here, you're an American? No. Uh, I mean, it seems to be being abused constantly, so it definitely needs to be talked about. Well, well, I, well so, so, so your your child won't be an American. I'm an American citizen. Like they would need to make it if you are born of American citizens in order to circumvent the anchor baby thing. So maybe if one of your parents is an American citizen, then you are too. Yeah. That would be your just, rule. Like it's a half blood. Yeah. yeah. Like, like <laughs> do they get regular, city. like a half city, a citizen. Do they, get, do they get all their rights and stuff or. Yeah. If they're an American citizen, of course. And they go to like a public restroom of, and everything. <laughs> Yeah. Well, and they'll you, have their own water restrooms, fountains. obviously, Kyle. They'll have yeah. their Separate. own restrooms. Yeah. Separate. Mm -hmm. They get three fifths yeah. of the vote, maybe. They get to go. They, they're looped in with. That's what we're doing, folks. We're making bathrooms for all the trans. Is that a? Is that something I haven't heard about? Is that like a Project Twenty Twenty Five thing, like eliminating um, born citizenship or something like that? I think I did hear that, but I don't. I don't think be it's wrong, a twenty. So I don't I'll think it's in. a twenty-five thing. I think it was just another, like, bandied about idea. Interesting. Which, like, yeah, if you're born here of illegals, like of having illegals. a ha yeah of illegals, if your illegal parents come here tactically to birth you here and secure their path of citizenships, that's ridiculous. That's that's circumventing our laws. Fuck that. No. What if they're smart? What if they're like? What if it's like a German couple of engineers? Uh, if they come here illegally, then they can get fucked. Heinrich was on vacation. And Heinrich has to go back. Sorry, Heinrich, but you need to go back to your country that kind of used to be more relevant. Yeah, Trump said that he would do an executive order on his first day in office that would require at least one parent to be a citizen for their children to become citizens. Oh, yeah, wow. I'm, I'm totally down for that. That's wild. That makes so much more sense. I than, think it's unconstitutional. Yeah. I'd have to Google to see. I mean, there's amendment, a law, but I think there's an there's amendment that says if you're born here, you're a citizen. Yeah, there is, there's a law that says it for sure. Yeah. Well, when okay. that was implemented, nobody predicted it could be there's abused a, this way. There's another yeah. law. It'll no, and, and not only that, like all of his legal troubles go away. The only thing that remains is the civil judgment against him with E. Jean Carroll, or I believe is her name. But I can just imagine him with his presidential power somehow just not paying. The fraud one is also at the state level, right? Well, I think it needs to be civil before it even he, like it's state, civil, aren't isn't it? State, um. I don't know. I the just know that DOJ Eugene Carroll's judgment where he owes like a hundred million dollars mm -hmm. on, um, that's a civil judgment and that's the worrisome one. The but everything else goes away. Dollar one isn't isn't on your mind. I don't know about that one. Um okay. I know everything's state and federal. Everything I can remind you. It, it, it's the one where he overestimated the value of his properties. <laughs> and, yeah. and but I thought that yeah, actually I remember that is the New York trial. So that one's state too. Yeah, uh, and those are the two that don't go away. All the federal ones, I assume, just uh, yeah. they're probably oh. done now. They see if they haven't stopped, the writing's on the wall, so they might as well. I think they announced they're winding the the two DOJ cases down rapidly. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay. And, and he's supposed to appear in court like next week for sentencing in New York. I don't think he's going to show. Eat my ass. <laughs> yeah, not, I don't think he's going to show. Like, like, come, like, like, what are they going to send the U.S. Marshals to get him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no they're not so no, uh so yeah not. all of his legal troubles go away you know he, he he wins he wins everything uh and the best well maybe the worst part is he might get some more another supreme court justice or two you know those well, the supreme guys? court's gonna be red for the rest of my life question mark like imagine the, what can happen with uh, what thomas they can do. is <laughs> the oldest right i'll have to look there's there's two that, old the there's 70s. two there's two older Democrats on the Supreme Court that, that could be phased out this cycle potentially. Or they could hang on. And the Chief Justice to like swing votes a little more. I think he's also in his mid seventies or maybe early seventies. I mean it's six so to three. Thomas is now. the oldest at seventy six, then comes Alito, uh, then 
Sotomayor at 70. I didn't oh, realize she got one. so old. Uh, John Roberts is 69. Even that is older than I expected. And then we get into like 64 and 59. So they're not. Going. Yeah. yeah. Go. But, if he's uh, smart, he'll get rid of any old conservatives. Go ahead and put a, put a good, good 45 year old. Clarence Thomas them. is guaranteed going to leave when Trump takes office. hundred percent. 100%. Wow. I he, don't he, agree, but I'm wrong about everything lately. So I'm being cautious. <laughs> I feel like Clarence Thomas saw the writing on the wall with Ginsburg. And is going to be mm. like, I'm not going to get caught flat footed, waking up dead one day and realizing I, I made a mistake. Like, I'm going to I'm going to preempt this. I, I certainly see the logic, but I just haven't seen many of these people step down graciously to help their party. Most of them cling to the day yeah. they die. Mm -hmm. That's it true. Um, smart. You can't be smart. Past, like your desire but to be in a position like that. Just to wait. It, Alito is I forgot that he was Republican. So the two oldest are Republican and then Sotomayor. Okay. Yeah, I could see him maybe getting. I guess that would be if he replaced those two Republicans. That's just a wash. Uh, you want to you want to replace a Dem. Somebody said that Trump was playing the actuarial tables when he picked his judges, and then I heard Trump on the on a rally say a similar type thing. Like you got to get young ones. Young ones will be in there for forty years. And yeah, so Trump didn't put sixty nine year olds on the Supreme Court. Yeah. yeah, massive that's, changes in American smart. politics for a generation is what you're talking about. It's incredibly impactful. That mm -hmm. and all the circuit judges, you know, all the appointees that he's going to put in there in those lifelong positions or whatever who are going to be enforcing their judgment of the way the law should be, be interpreted. It's, uh, it's super impactful. And it goes beyond his economic policy or his tax policy. That'll just be, <clears throat> you know, a four or five year thing. And then I had a law professor talk about um, lifetime appointments and uh, he was for them he thought lifetime appointments were nice because they allow po uh, judges to make decisions without worrying about the popularity of it and they can focus solely on the right and wrong of it okay point taken but also there's no accountability they can for example throw away the case of the guy that put him in there right or wrong <laughs> just let's pretend it's wrong for the for this conversation yeah and uh and now there's no accountability. They have a lifetime appointment. They can stick their middle finger up for the rest of their lives and not get fired. So I don't know what's right. You know, I don't want people, for example, coming down against those who burn the flag. I think it's yucky. I'm not a big fan, but it's a freedom mm -hmm. of speech thing. The judge needs to protect unpopular decisions. And if they're elected every two years, they can't do that. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> yeah, nah, I don't know. I agree. It's seedy. There's no awesome solution to all of this. Before.